Hello everyone, welcome to today's afternoon Bible study and devotional. Um, I have a little bit of a headache this afternoon, so if I don't come with the same gusto as normal, it's because of my headache. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be reading through uh, Psalm chapter 47, so I invite you to grab your Bibles, read along with me as we read through Psalm chapter 47. Uh, but before we get to that, what did we read through uh, last time? Last time I was up on a hill. Beautiful lookout. It was really, really nice. Um, and uh, there was uh, Psalm 46 was kind of about, you know, all these natural disasters coming, but how we can be still and know that he is God, that God is going to be honored in every nation, that he'll be honored throughout the world. The Lord of heaven's armies is here. He is among us, and the God of Israel is our fortress. That reminder that God is God, no matter how chaotic the world seems to be around us. Um, and very fitting for a lot of our world today, uh, and especially for the people that, you know, this collection of songs and poems and stuff would have been collected for right because uh, these were you know for the people in exile um that's where you know a lot of these psalms and why they got collected um so just very very encouraging there and you know like yeah we might not be able to understand why the chaos is happening around us but we know that god will can and does use it um and that he will protect us. He is our God and our Savior. Right? So that's what we read yesterday. So today we're going to move into Psalm chapter 47. I'm reading out of the New Living Translation, BibleGateway.com, Bible app, two great resources. Um, or uh, if you, physical Bible, definitely uh, my go to. And if you'd like a physical Bible, um, you can private message me, and I'd love to try to hook you up with one. But for now, let's jump into Psalm chapter 47. For the choir director, a psalm of the descendants of Korah. Come, everyone, clap your hands. Shout to God with a joyful praise, for the Lord Most High is awesome. He is the great king of all the earth. He subdues the nations before us, putting our enemies beneath our feet. He chose the promised land as our inheritance, the proud possession of Jacob's descendants, whom he loves. Interlude. God has ascended with a mighty shout. The Lord has ascended with trumpets blaring. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. For God is King over all the earth. Praise Him with a psalm. God reigns above the nations, sitting on His holy throne. The, ruler, the rulers of the world have gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For all the kings of the earth belong to God. He is highly honored everywhere. May God add a blessing to the reading of Psalm chapter 47. This is just, you know, a nice simple one. Praise God, because he is good. Come together, make that joyful noise. Um, this reminds me, uh, I, we do the walk of the cross and, um, that's where on Easter we gather in one location, then we take the cross downtown and then set it up in this, uh, park where you can run a gazebo and stuff like that. And then we do this multi-church service. Love it. But there you have people that are just, they're going out of their way. They're spending extra time on, you know, their day off to go marching downtown get weird looks from people that you know don't really care or what have you and then we stand in the middle of the park with a bunch of other christians from a bunch of different churches and we're just praising god for 
what he did. I've done it in a super organized fashion. I've done it in like a gorilla kind of, you know, um, it got canceled for this, that, or whatever reason. And, um, you know, just sitting there with people from all different walks of life, all different churches, and just praising and singing God in that joyful noise. Um, sometimes their singing is absolutely atrocious, but it's so amazing because it's so genuine. Um, and just that overwhelming joy because God is actually good. We rejoice when like a celebrity tweets, retweets or shares or likes a post, but God is doing that for us all the time. And he's so much greater than all the other celebrities, all the other kings, all the other rulers. God is that much better and he spends time and he listens and with you. That is something to be happy about. That's something to be joyful about. That's something to sing and shout from the rooftops. And you'll be joined by a chorus of praise by so many more. Let us pray. AJC, awesome Jesus Christ, I thank you that we can come to you in praise with, and be creative, that our sounds of praise can sound absolutely atrocious to some, but so amazing when it's just rooted in truth, when it's rooted in authenticity. It, there's something so sweet about it, Lord. So, Lord, help us to praise you. You are good. You are loving. You are giving. Lord, you are amazing. You are awesome. Even though, you know, I got this headache at the moment, I am means, like, you know, I've been able to do this, that, and the other. And, um, you know, I have a bed that I can sleep on, even if I sleep poorly. Um, you know, you have provided and given so much, Lord. Ah, and you are so, so good. And you didn't have to step down from heaven and show us the way, and you did. You don't have to listen to our prayers that you do. Because you love us, Lord. You care for us. You are the great creator. No matter how creative we can be, we can never match your creativity. You're amazing, Lord. You are amazing, Lord. You are amazing, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, sometimes when we pray, we don't have to ask for anything. We can just be in God's presence. We can just praise and that's what I think Psalm 47 was calling us to do, is just to praise, to praise God. And with the highlight of 46, even when things seem chaotic around us, we can still praise God. So thank you very much for joining me today. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And God bless.